Here we are with the front of the piston. Um, we are going to go ahead and start the automatic program. You can see there's a couple grooves already. These are just from past test programs, uh, testing different groove heights. But now I'm going to go for the full program and um, with uh, nose profiling and all, everything. So here we go. And there we go. We have um, just the extra groove down the center. That's basically it. So we'll go ahead and might as well get this out of the chuck and we can show you what it looks like. this from the camera. All right. So here's a new groove, just a little bit more shallow you can see than my previous test cuts. Um, the nose finish, if it comes out on video, is I would say is really nice. So I got a nice radius there and um, and then did another face off and that seemed to seem to work perfectly. If I look really closely, I think my previous um, groove finish is a little bit better, so I'll probably set it up to do a dwell like I did before, just to polish the inside of that. Um, but other than that, yep, we have it going. Now, since uh, this was a previous test part, I actually have the previous side threaded. And um, we'll go ahead and put this in an actual machine and see how these O-rings perform. Um, just getting that groove height is, is really important for uh, longevity of the seals as well as um, just in general, you know, having a good seal around there as opposed to a seal only if the seals are brand new. So what I like to have is a pretty tight fit on these, um, but before it was just hard to get machinists to work with me on the groove height and um, most of the time afterwards whatever they came up with depending on the, what the profile was it, you know it, it depended a lot more on the cutter that they used more so than whatever I put in the drawings and then um, and usually I would just have to switch around o-rings afterwards so it was a bit of a hassle there and pretty much uh, for now that's it we'll be Going on all parts of the, the other side here, we'll be doing afterwards as a lot like the threading you saw before um, in aluminum, just now it'll be in stainless and um, then we'll be moving on to the tube after that.